Are you serious? Are you serious? You know, the Bible says in Luke chapter 21, verses 25, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Well, Jesus knew that we would be seeing these things, of course. And we are. There is, a, I wanted to say, there is reports coming to surface right now about the debris trail of Ison. Now, uh, I have some predictions, actually. These were predictions by scientists by NASA. And I also noticed that uh, BP Earthwatch has done a video called, Is Ison Debris Hitting Earth? Well, according to NASA, back in April of, this, of 2013, uh, anticipation was building for Comet Ison as it plunged, of course, toward the sun. Now, they didn't know if Ison would stay together and create the greatest comet spectacular uh, display throughout the month of December than we'd ever seen. But it didn't stay together. It did break apart. Although those rocks are huge as they race through the night, uh, they are still up there roaring through the millenniums of time. But as they go, behind Ison is a debris trail, folks, that could be as much as 17 million miles long and is as wide, 20 times wider than the Earth. And we're going to pass through it. Now, uh, uh, here's what the reports are saying. We're going to call it, uh, as Jesse calls it, the uh, seven days of passage beginning around January 12th uh, through the 19th. Uh, here's what NASA is saying. NASA says uh, in a report, now this was by uh, Bill, uh, no, this was, which guy was, I want to make sure I get the right scientist that said this. Yes, Paul Wingert, Paul Wingert of NASA said these words. He said, for several days, Around January the 12th, 2014, Earth will pass through a stream of fine-grained debris from the comet Ison. The resulting shower could have some interesting properties. He goes on to say later, uh, he notes that the shower is going to hit our planet from two directions at once. It will hit us simultaneously. When Earth passes through the debris stream, we will encounter two populations of comet dust. One swarm of dust will be following the comet Ison when it was going into the sun. The other, com the other swarm will be moving in the opposite direction, pushed away from the sun by the solar radiation pressure. The streams will pepper opposite sides of the earth simultaneously. In my experience, this kind of double whammy is unprecedented, says Paul Weigert. You know, then now that was in April of 2013, April 20th, 2013, in a NASA report on Comet Ison's dust trail to bring unusual meteor shower to the earth. When you say dust, when it says dust, you're going to have some dust, yes, but you're going to have, and dust, uh, space dust, of course we know, carries CN2, which is a, uh, which is a virus, which is a poisonous gas, it's a virus. So the earth, during the seven days of passage that BP Earthwatch talks about, the earth is going to get hit it's going, to, it's going to be passing through, boom, boom. It's going to be getting hit from two different streams of the common ison. 
First, this debris, listen to me what I'm telling you. The debris trail is so long that the incoming debris trail from when Ison first went toward the sun was still there. It hasn't even got there to the sun yet. We're going to pass through the incoming debris trail and the outgoing debris trail. We're going to hit it and hit it. Double whammy. It's the best way I can explain it to you. And this was predicted by NASA scientists. And there's their headlines that they said. NASA said this. NASA reports Comet Ison's debris trail to bring, of course, meteor shower to the Earth. And it tells you it will happen j exactly. They predicted, of course, January 12th for several days. Now, VP Earthwatch says it's, he calls it the seven days of passage. It says it will be from January 12th through the 19th. Now, this week we're going to have some interesting guests. On Friday, on Friday the 10th, I'm going to have Walid Shobat. He will be with us to tell us what's going on with the persecution, the murdering of Christians around the world. And he's going to break the story about how they're selling the blood of Christian martyrs in little bottles for $100,000 a bottle to Saudi Arabian Muslims who, like, who want to wash their hands in the blood of Christians for the atonement of their sins. Now, Walid Shobat, has, he, was, he broke this story by interviewing a nun who witnessed these things in the war-torn city of Damascus. When the Bible says Damascus, the bird of Damascus, behold, Damascus is no longer a city but a ruinous heap in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1. That's exactly what it means. And then Jeremiah chapter 49, verses 23 through 27, breaks it down for you systematically how the city of Damascus completely is non-functional. That's why when I think people never did understand, but when the Lord said S Syria will fail, what the Lord's saying is the government of Syria is no longer in charge. It's a complete war zone. Damascus is not a functioning city. It's become a ruinous heap with terror and murder and bloodshed. So anyway, on Friday, don't forget this, Friday during the day from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, my guest will be ex-Palestinian Liberation Organization member, ex-PLO member, Walid Shobat who got born again, quit the PLO, married a Christian woman, and is now exposing the demons of radical Islam and the persecution upon Christians. He also broke the story that uh, the Egyptian government is filing charges of collaboration on Hillary Rodham Clinton, that she collaborated with the wife of Mohammed Mursi. And he's broke that story. Both these breaking stories he brought out have been covered by World Net Daily and other organizations. But your mass media is ignoring it. Just wanting you to know. Now, also, then on Monday, January the 13th, 2014, uh, Jesse Waltman from BP Earthwatch will be our guest. And we're bringing him on for the scientific analysis uh, on... Comet Ison's Debris Trail, because it will be day two of the seven days of passage, and we want to get an understanding of what's going on with the Earth at, up to the date minute, basically, of where we're at and what's coming in the next few days after that. So we want his expert scientific, anal scientific analysis of these things coming up on the Earth. I'll be right back. There's more going on, folks. So I want you to know there's a whole lot more going on around the globe as the signs of the times are truly very, very, very revealing. Biblical prophecy is being fulfilled before our very eyes on a daily basis and people need to give their lives to Jesus Christ and be born again before it's too late. God bless you. I'll be right back in just a moment.